Hey guys, um, so today I want to talk about how to get over a person that you're in love with who doesn't want to be with you anymore. It's over. Whoa. It is a really horrible feeling, especially when the holidays come around, or it's summertime, you want to like go to the beach with that person, or you want to go watch the fireworks, but they are not with you, they are not contacting you, they're not making plans to see you, and it's very heartbreaking. But what do you do? Number one, make plans with friends and family. Just try to be around people that love you and um, try not to talk about that person. Just try to be present with the people that you're spending time with. It's, um, it's not, I wouldn't advise being by yourself. It's very hard. Two, don't drink. Um, drinking just pulls out all emotions and it makes you really depressed. Um, three, work out, you know? I like to run and bike and walk uh, and I like Pilates. Pick something that you like doing. It could be anything. Um, maybe even um, join like a a sports group or something like a soccer team or like a running team like just stay active you know sweat out all those you know all the straps and the sadness you know it, it build up those endorphins help we we'll even start looking a lot better um if you're ready date you know that might help distract you you know you're getting back out there meeting people uh i've tried that but to be honest with you men who just want to have sex and i just find sex is cheap and i am at a point in my life where uh, I want to connect with a person and make a life with a person. I want a real companion, and I prefer to make love. So um, I could just be solitary for now. Um, for me, that's best because you know I don't I don't really want to rebound. Um, so I'm just gonna stay solitary. And I'll be really honest: when a guy approaches me, and goes, I think we have a lot of fun together. Let's uh, you know. And I say, No, I'm not into you. Bye. And I just cut communication off. Oh, that's the other thing. Cut communication off with this other person. Do not email them, call them, look at their social media, nothing. Cut them off. And you're not going to get over them by spying on them or reaching out to them. You're not going to move on. You, It's over. So let that pain sit in. Embrace it. Cry if you have to. Get tissues. Cry to a friend that can handle it. But don't torture them too much about it. Um, if you have to do that, let it out. Um, it's okay. It'll it'll take some time. It'll take a couple of months. It'll take a year. But um, you know, just embrace whatever it is that you're feeling. Try to focus on the positive things and acceptance. Be present and accept that you know some things just end for whatever reason it is. And it, I know it's hard. I mean, for me, I'm, I'm going through it, and, it, and it's very, very difficult. But um, I picked up guitar, I invited friends over yesterday because it was 4th of July, and we went on the rooftop, and it was a lot of fun, and I made food, and I cut up cantaloupe, and uh, it was good, you know? It was really good to be around good people. I didn't talk about this guy. I just spare them any details because it, it just makes everybody have a better time and that's what it was about and even though deep down I was like man what a shame I can't watch fireworks with the person I'm in love with no wonder what they're doing but I had to cut that off and then I like hugged my mom and talked to my best friend James and you know um, you just again stay busy it'll pass Leave some comments below, let me know what you think. What has what worked for you? I know these things are kind of working. I know they don't make the pain go away, but it certainly helps pass the time nicely. Um, so I'm interested to see, like, have you tried any of the things I mentioned? Have they worked for you? Um, is there anything you'd like to add that maybe I didn't even mention? Uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Bye.